if you like this video press the like button and subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get notification of our new video hello everyone welcome to mbcs.com so in this video i'm going to tell you about upper gi bleeding and in the next video we will be discussing about uh, lower gi bleed so make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of that new video so let's begin with this topic so as you know uh, we divide the gi tract into upper gi tract and the lower gi tract and it is divided at the level of ligament of treats ligament of treats okay this is present at uh, duodenal uh, jejunal flexure now let us discuss the causes of uh, uh, upper gi uh, bleeding so the most common presentation in upper gi bleeding is hematemesis okay this is the most common presentation so the causes of upper gi bleed includes the first cause is peptic ulcer peptic ulcer disease is the most common cause of upper gi bleed this is the most common cause okay so there are the two types of peptic ulcers the first one it can be in the duodenum it, so it is known as duodenal ulcer or it can be in the stomach so it is known as gastric ulcer Okay, the most common artery involved in the duodenal ulcer is gastro duodenal artery. Okay, and the most common artery involved in gastric ulcer is left gastric artery. So uh, the investigation of choice in both type of peptic ulcer is uh, upper GI endoscopy and the treatment is cautery. Okay, now coming to the second cause, which is drug induced drug induced gastritis so which drug can cause drug induced gastritis so these drugs are cox1 inhibitors which includes indomethacin okay now coming to the third cause which is also an important cause it is portal hypertension the third cause is portal hypertension okay on examination we will find the splenomegaly splenomegaly will be present okay and if we measure the pressure of uh, portal vein so it f should be more than 10 mm of mercury or more than 15 centimeter of water okay and it causes non serotic portal fibrosis in the adult okay the most common cause of portal hypertension in adults is ncpf which is non serotic portal fibrosis and in pediatric age group it is ehpvo extra hepatic portal vein obstruction so it causes esophageal varices which bleeds and causes hematemesis now the fourth cause of upper gi bleed is mallory so the fourth cause of uh, upper gi bleed is mallory weiss syndrome this is also important for uh, mcqs so what happens in the Mallory V syndrome? Um, patient will give you the history of excessive intake of the alcohol, and uh, followed by uh, retching episodes. So it causes submucosal tear. Okay, submucosal tear will be present due to retching, due to excessive intake of the alcohol. Okay, the second cause of Mallory V syndrome is hiatus hernia and the third cause is 
hyper hemesis gravidarum which is present in the pregnancy okay so the site of submucosal tear this submucosal tear the site is cardio of stomach cardiac part okay and the source of bleeding is left gastric artery which is same as this gastric ulcer artery okay now the fifth cause of upper gi bleed is telophoes lesion what happens in this there is congenital aberrant submucosal artery which causes compression to the esophagus compression okay so what happens during churning action of the stomach this aberrant artery can get uh, traumatized because it is very superficial so it causes it causes bleeding okay now coming to uh, another cause which is the sixth cause is water melon stomach okay this is also known as gave g a v e this gave is gastric antral vascular ectasia this is the least common cause okay so these are the causes of upper gi bleed in the next video we will discuss about lower gi bleed so please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for notification of that video thank you